Hey, it's Miss Alana being awesome and amazing, and I know you are too. So this video right here that I am recording will give you some instructions and some introductions to your assignment for today. All right, so make sure that you have your sheet. It looks like this. It looks like this. It should have the date, today's date right there, November the 30th, Wednesday, bam. Now, if you were absent today, I do have your sheet. I have your sheet, but no worries. You don't even need your sheet. You can just do it right now. Do it right now. Just get a piece of paper, and I can just staple it together. That way, you don't have to catch up so much tomorrow, so you won't have so much to catch up on, okay? So, right here, real quickly, um, again, I show the standard. There are five questions that you have to do for your problem solving, okay? There are one, bam, two, three, four. No, hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Can I count right? All right, there are five questions right there. Now, we are working on the same standard today, the same lesson today. It's not the same lessons that we did yesterday, so I'll get to that in a second. So then you have the box where you need to write the problem, write the problem there. And I'll, the next video will have all the problems. I'll put all the problems in one video. And then your cubes, clues for each one. And then the solve and check box and your solution box and your I can statement box. Okay, so let me go through it real quickly. The standard for today for all five questions that you have to do is right here. Okay, hold on. Before we do that, don't forget, do the back side, okay? Do the back side. Do your fluency right there. Reflex math. Sad face. Let me see your sad face because it's not working today. <laughs> All right, hopefully it'll be up and running. That would be magical if it would be up and running later, but hopefully be up and running by tomorrow, okay? Study ladder, yes, I know you all have done more than two activities. Write those down on a separate sheet. I can give you points for that. Game show, huh? We, we, we didn't get a chance to do the game show. So much other math awesomeness we've been doing. Math task, there are 10. Make sure that you've been working on that in class. If not, you better catch up. Bring your newspaper, bring your scissors, bring your glue tomorrow. And don't forget your parents' signature right there. Well, no, that's my signature. If I need to write some comments, in your parents' signature right there. All right, back to the front. So for this week, no, for today, the standard we are working on is this right here. All right, hold on. I, I need my sheet. I can't read backwards. I can't read backwards. All right. It says right there, MGSE5, that 5 stands for 5th grade, and F, and do you know what that F stands for? Look at thicky words. It's fractions, okay? That's fractions. And number 2, okay? Do you see that? So today's problems will involve fractions, all right? Now, it says solve word problems involving addition and subtraction of fractions and mixed numbers by using, using visual fraction models and equations to represent the problem. All right. Now, guess what? This is so nice. I actually typed it in there for you so you don't have to write that, but I do want you to read that. And you can even highlight and circle keywords that you see. So read it with me again. I'll read it to you again. You can either read right here on the screen or read it on your paper. All right, it says solve word problems involving addition and subtraction of fractions and mixed numbers by using visual fraction models and equations to represent the problem. What? So some words there you know, some you don't, and I'll go through them with you, okay? Uh, now right this second. So the next thing, the problem, you're going to write the problem, find the problems in the next video. Don't forget your cubes clues right here. Your cubes clues as you solve each problem. Make sure that you check off each step that you do. Let's review our cubes clues. The C step is to what? Circle the numbers. So circle the numbers in the problem. The next step is the U step is to underline keywords. Underline keywords in those problems. The next step is the B step to box the question. Go ahead and box that question out. And E, eliminate any unnecessary information that you have. And the last step is the S step to solve and check. 
So as you complete each of these steps in the cube's clues, check them off, actually do them. So check them off, make sure you do it for each problem, okay, for each problem. Always show your work in the solve and check. Now when you solve and check, what I want you to do, let's go back to that standard, okay? It says we are going to use what? Visual fraction models and equations. So for your solve and check, I want you to draw the picture of the fraction and then write the equation, okay? So two things I want you to do in the solve and check. Draw a picture, draw your model, that visual representation, and write your equation. So that means write the fractions with the operation symbol, the equal symbol, and the answer, okay? So do that there. And that way, that's the way that you check it, by doing both ways, all right? So once you are done doing that for each solve and check box, you are going to write the solution. I am not going to give you my fancy sentence because you're too smart. You don't need my help. You can do it all on your own. So in the solution box for each one, make sure that you write your answer in a complete sentence. Okay? A nice complete sentence. I am going to be checking those tomorrow. Make sure you're doing those right. Okay? Nice complete sentence. Has an uppercase in the beginning, appeared at the end. Don't just write, it is blank. That's like a kindergarten sentence. You are not in kindergarten. You are way more advanced than that. So make sure that you write a nice, good sentence like how we've been doing, how I've been showing you all week. Okay? Bam. And then when you are finished with that, the last part is your I can statement. Okay? Now, right here. I can solve word problems by adding and subtracting fractions and mixed numbers. Okay, so that is your I can statement. All right, so if you need to pause this video and go ahead and write that down, you can. I can solve word problems by adding and subtracting fractions and mixed numbers. Bam. All right, so remember there are five problems one, two, three, four, five. Make sure you complete each part of those problems solving questions. Complete each part. I expect to see a completed sheet tomorrow, and I'm so proud of everyone that's been doing a good job with that. Yes. All right. So, bam, right there. All right. So, I am done explaining and giving you directions of what you need to do. In the next video, I am going to give you all the problems, okay? So, in this video, let me recap. Let me review. We went over the standard, and the keywords would be fractions, mixed numbers, adding, subtracting, visual fraction models, and equations. Look, I already gave you the things you should circle there, okay? And the problem in the next video, remember, do your cubes clues, show your solution, solve and check by drawing the picture, the model, and the equation, okay? The fraction number sentence and the picture, and write your solution in a complete sentence, and write your I can statement, all right? So if you need to review any of the videos, you could just go back and watch it. All right, so, hmm, a lot of sprinkles. Bam, let me give you some sprinkles because... <sighs> This is like ultimate awesomeness right here. Give me some sprinkles for ultimate awesomeness. Yes. Yes. All right. So catch the next video. All right. Love you. Mwah.